Any meaningful change that we've ever seen in this country's history has been precipitated by young people who forced that change to happen. I find that I'm moved and most people that I know are moved by listening to other people in their lives. For Amy and me, that was particularly poignant when our son Henry came home from first grade and we asked him, what did you do at school today? And the first thing he told us was about his teacher hurting him and his classmates into a large closet uh, where they closed the door when someone portraying an active shooter came into the room. And the fact that they have to go through this drill to prepare for something that so many kids today believe will be inevitable is absolutely wrong and uh, added urgency for me and Amy to make sure that we are part of all of the action that's taking place across this country right now to bring attention to this epidemic and also to the solutions. So we cannot allow this to be inevitable or to be the expectation that we set for our kids. And in fact, it's those young people who are shocking us out of our complacency. Listening to our kid, listening to other kids across this country, following the lead of those students who are marching for their lives and all of our lives, that's what gives me hope that we're gonna be able to, to meet this challenge and overcome it.